Hey you. Yeah you. Stop using Comic Sans. We're not using Comic Sans and you should never use it. But I'm gonna tell you how fonts are really important for your work. Let's get right into it. So serif fonts, for example, you're gonna see there's a common characteristic of having them all with like feet at the bottom. You'll see it on like a thing I'll put over here. That'll have, you know, feet. And you'll realize that those are more trustworthy. They're more classic and they're more something that you'd use for, you know, universities, something more formal, stuff like that. That kind of has the connotation of what serif fonts do. Now, another one that's very similar, but is a little bit different is sans serif. So sans serif is more modern. It has, it doesn't have the feet, but it looks kind of classic as well. So it's like a good middle ground, but it has its own uses for certain like advertising and things where you want to have that more modern look, but not as much as, you know, something that's more rustic and antique looking. Slap serif is a little bit different where it has a little bit of the feet, but it's also a little bit more modern. It's more bold. It's more quirky. It has more uh, use as just being different and being kind of like a little bit out of the box thinking it's it's more so for like different artistic stuff rather than more formal script fonts for example are really unique and they have more of like a calligraphy look to it so that's so more for elegance as well but it has more of a written thing rather than having more of like a font look it more looks like it's been handwritten that brings me into the next one handwritten Literally, it looks like it's handwritten, but it's supposed to be more artistic as well. It's supposed to have more of a very informal look. You could use it on stuff like if you're, let's say, introducing like a product for kids or if you're trying to have more of a like more toddler friendly looking one or if you're just trying to look more friendly in general. Handwritten's are really good for emulating stuff like that, especially for like things like school projects or like having something that's related to a school, for example, you'd want to have a handwritten font. Decorative is just completely different. Decorative is probably like the more custom fonts. It's more so like something that's more stylistically done. So if you're having something where it's like, it looks like it's written in chalk or something, or it just has the icons for like the eyes or so like an eye would have like the flower or like a heart or something, it'd be more decorative. It has more of a personality. So decorative is more so, you know, I want to show this as a personality. I don't want to have it as more of like a connotation of what like some of the other stuff I mentioned. You just want to have it as a very unique look to it. So these are some of the fonts that are really common to use and well, that they're more of like a type of font. But yeah, fonts are really important to look into because it, let's say if you put something in the wrong font. So for example, like let's say I put funeral in a decorative font or you know, in some very creative font, it probably wouldn't have the same feeling as something where it's like supposed to be more formal, it's supposed to be very, you know, sad and things like that. You wanna have the font match the vibe. So definitely look into fonts because fonts are really important and there's tons of fonts out there. One really good font site, is dafont.com you can get thousands of fonts there for free and you can also search up stylistically how they look so if you see some of these here you'll be able to see some of the categories there and look at the fonts and kind of see what you like and what works but fonts are really important to know and how to use i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you have instagram or tiktok let me know if you like some of the videos I make there or here. If you like some of this video, please comment and subscribe down below. And also, if you want to suggest some ideas, let me know on Instagram, TikTok, or even in the comments down below. Anything is good. I really hope you enjoyed. Got value out of this video. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye.